If you have a budget PC and want a competitive edge in your games, then this video is for you. I'll show you the best tweaks to boost your PC's performance for gaming. These tweaks will increase your FPS, fix input lag, and give you a buttery smooth gaming experience. For all the resources used in this video, check the download links in the description. Let me know in the comments how much FPS you gain after applying these tweaks. Let's get started. Frustrated with lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step, we will boost gaming performance by fine-tuning CPU and GPU resource allocation through specific registry modifications. Begin by typing Registry Editor in the Windows search bar, then right-click on it and choose Runner's Administrator to launch it with elevated permissions. Once inside the Registry Editor, copy the command provided in the description, paste it into the address bar and press Enter. Here, you'll find multiple settings ready for adjustment. First, locate the entry named Affinity, double-click on it, set its value data to F, ensure the base is hexadecimal and hit OK to save. Next, find background only. Only, modify its value to false and apply the change. Now, search for GP priority, update its value data to E, keep the base as hexadecimal and click OK. Then, locate the priority setting, change its value data to six and confirm the update. Finally, adjust both scheduling category and FSIIO priority to high, ensuring each modification is saved before exiting the registry editor. By implementing these optimizations, your system will allocate resources more effectively for gaming, leading to smoother gameplay and improved overall responsiveness. Now guys, download this budget PC performance boost pack on your PC. Simply visit my official website and grab it for free. Once the download is complete, Extract the file to your desktop and open the folder. Inside, you'll find multiple subfolders. First, open the registry folder where you'll see several registry files. Install them one by one to apply important tweaks. After that, go back to the main folder and open the Windows Commands folder. Here, you'll find essential commands designed to adjust various Windows settings. Apply each command step by step to optimize your system's performance. Next, we'll use the ShutUp10 application. When you launch the app, you'll notice that some options are already enabled. These are the recommended settings. You can disable any that you don't want to use. If you've used the app before, it will notify you of previous changes, allowing you to accept or revert them as needed. Keep in mind that certain Windows updates may reset these optimizations, so it's a good idea to recheck them after each update. The app has two main tabs, current user and local machine. Under current user, you'll find settings for privacy, activity history, clipboard permissions, app privacy, Microsoft Edge configurations, Windows settings sync, Cortana for Windows 10 users, Windows Copilot, File Explorer, Lock Screen, Search, Taskbar, and other miscellaneous options. The local machine tab includes similar settings but also offers additional security features and Windows update controls. Before making any changes, you can export your current settings and import them on another system if needed. Once you're ready, you can apply recommended settings, green, recommended and somewhat recommended, yellow, or all settings. Additionally, you have the option to undo all changes and create a system restore point, which is highly recommended before applying any modifications. Now apply the recommended settings and close the app to finalize the optimizations. Next, open the ultimate Windows tweaker folder and launch this powerful tool designed to optimize Windows performance. Once the program is running, navigate to the Performance tab. Here, I recommend enabling all the key optimizations, including disabling auto-starting programs and unresponsive apps to reduce background processes, enabling the Restart After Error option to improve system stability, turning off features like smooth scrolling and edge preloading to free up system resources. These tweaks will help eliminate unnecessary visual effects and free up CPU and RAM, ensuring a smoother and more responsive system. Additionally, disable unnecessary Windows services, such as Tablet Input Service, which is only needed for touchscreen devices, Windows Security Center, if you're using third-party antivirus software, 
prefetch service, which manages temporary data, but can slow down your system over time. Next, switch to the additional tab and access network tweaks to enhance internet performance and security. Apply all the recommended settings, including enabling the onboard network adapter processor to improve network efficiency, limiting anonymous connections to enhance security, disabling unnecessary features like recent shares and the default admin disk share server. For added privacy, hide your network from network discovery and the browser list to prevent unauthorized access. Once all these network optimizations are applied, click apply. Tweaks to finalize the changes. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. In this step, we'll apply essential Windows settings to further boost performance. Start by opening the Settings menu by clicking the Windows button and selecting the gear icon. Navigate to System, then go to Notifications and Actions, and disable all unnecessary notifications by toggling them off. This helps reduce background activity and improves overall performance. Next, open Focus Assist and turn it off. Move to Tablet Mode, Set. When I sign in to use desktop mode and under, when this device automatically switches tablet mode, on or off, choose don't ask me and don't switch. Now go to multitasking and turn off all snap assist functions. Scroll down to timeline and disable it. In virtual desktops, if you don't use them, set only the desktop I'm using for both options. Skip projecting to this PC, then head to shared experiences and disable all related features. Lastly, in remote desktop, turn it off unless you actively need it. While still in system settings, navigate to the about section and click advanced system settings. In the new window, go to the advanced tab and under performance, click settings. Windows usually prioritizes appearance settings, but for better speed, select adjust for best performance to disable unnecessary visual effects. However, to keep usability intact, re-enable these four options under custom. Enable peak, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging, smooth edges of screen fonts, click apply and OK to save these changes. Next, go to the advanced tab in the same window and optimize processor scheduling. Under processor scheduling, ensure it is set to prioritize programs instead of background services. This ensures that active tasks like gaming or streaming get maximum resources. For instance, if you're playing a high demand game like Battlefield, the system will allocate more power to it, improving your experience. Apply these changes to make your system more responsive. To maximize performance further, adjust your power settings. Open power and sleep from the left panel and click additional power settings. By default, Windows uses the balanced power plan but for better performance, switch to high performance, which prioritizes speed at the cost of higher energy usage. If you're okay with increased power consumption, choose high performance, otherwise stick with balanced. Once selected, click change plan settings. Change advanced power settings to fine tune the configuration. Expand PCI Express, set link state power management to off to prevent power saving limitations. Then under processor power management, set both minimum processor state and maximum processor state to 100%. This ensures your CPU runs at full power without throttling. Apply the changes and save. Now, head to privacy settings. Under general, disable all options. 
Then in Diagnostics and Feedback, set Diagnostic Data to Basic and Disable Improve, Inking and Typing Recognition, Tailored Experiences, and Diagnostic Data Viewer. Finally, click Delete under Delete Diagnostic Data to remove collected telemetry data. Lastly, type Delivery in the search bar and open Allow Downloads from other PCs. By default, Windows permits other computers on your network to use your PC as a server for faster update downloads. This consumes unnecessary bandwidth and system resources. To prevent this, make sure this setting is completely disabled. Boost your budget gaming PC by disabling unnecessary background services. This tweak frees up system resources, reduces lag, and ensures a smoother, more responsive gaming experience. Open the Windows search bar and type services to access the services manager. Here, we'll disable unnecessary background services to enhance system performance. The first service to disable is Background Intelligent Transfer Service, BITS. This service transfers files in the background using idle network bandwidth, which can slow down your system. To disable it, locate Background Intelligent Transfer Service, right-click it, and choose Properties. Change the startup type from Manual to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. If the service is currently running, click Stop before applying the changes. Next, scroll down to find Remote Desktop Services. This service manages remote desktop connections, which are unnecessary unless you actively use them. To disable it, right-click Remote Desktop Services, select Properties, change the startup type to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. The third service is SysMain, formerly known as Superfetch. This service preloads frequently used applications into memory, which can sometimes cause system delays rather than improve performance. To turn it off, find SysMain, right-click it, and go to Properties. Change the startup type to Disabled. If the service status shows it is running, click Stop, then apply the changes and press OK. Disabling these three services will help free up system resources, reduce background activity, and ensure a smoother, more responsive performance. Optimize your storage for peak performance. Avoid defragmenting SSDs, but if you have an HDD, running optimization can speed up data access, ensuring smoother gameplay and faster load times. Open the Start menu and search for Defrag, then launch the Defragment and Optimize Drives tool. This tool helps improve storage performance by organizing data for faster access. Inside the tool, do not optimize solid-state drives (SSDs) as they don't require defragmentation and doing so can reduce their lifespan. However, if you have a hard disk drive (HDD) as secondary storage, you should optimize it periodically. To do this, select the HDD from the list and click Optimize. This process arranges data blocks sequentially, allowing Windows to access files more efficiently, improving overall read and write speeds. If your drive is already 0% fragmented, optimization isn't necessary. However, if you notice fragmentation at 10% or higher, simply click Optimize and allow the process to complete for better performance. So guys, that wraps up today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching. Peace out.